Okay, so here you can see I have Sketch open. If you haven't seen Sketch before, it's basically a design app that it feels very much like Principal. It, it's sort of like a, a lighter weight illustrator for web and UX design. It's a really great application and would highly recommend. Now, what's great about Principal is that Principal allows you to import directly from Sketch. Now, to do so, you want to make sure you have Sketch open first. And what I'm going to mention is basically what we need to do is the artboard that you want to import, it probably should be on its own page. Because otherwise, if I were to import with this window open currently, then really what's going to happen is it's going to bring in all this stuff. And, and you know, principal needs all same sized artboards. These are all very different artboards. So it's not going to work. It's going to be just a total mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, which is this mobile nav open artboard. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to throw it onto its own new page, paste it in here. And with this open, because principal is going to use whichever current page your browse to with this page open just like this i'm going to go ahead and open up principal now from here i'm going to select the import button up top and you'll notice it says sketch sketch and the version of the file is web design prototype now we could bring this in at various sizes you could scale the assets by two or three i'm going to leave this at by one here so it's just the same size but as you can see here uh you're going to want to make sure that it says sketch, not sketch beta. If you have sketch beta open, you know, if you have, if you're running two versions of sketch or something, you want to make sure this says the right version of sketch, whichever one you have up and running as well as the correct document. Uh, because it does, it looks at whatever the dot, like if you have multiple documents open, it's going to look at whichever one is essentially focused and on top along with whatever page is focused and on top. So there's not a ton of options here, but you should be able to know, Hey, I have this open. It's going to bring in this. Okay. So let's click import. And as you can see here, our image goes below the artboard bounds and that's all right. But we have our artboard and we have this mobile navigation brought in exactly from sketch. So the reason why this is cool is we can quickly do something. I'm going to just hit command D on this to open this up. And in this one, I'm going to have the nav open in this one. I'm going to pull the nav off to the side here like this. And now what we can do is say, Hey, when you click anywhere on this artboard, let's just actually select the whole artboard itself. You notice we have this billboard, which is something we can't necessarily touch here. But what we can do is we can select this whole group mobile nav open, select our lightning bolt and say on tap, let's go to this other artboard here. Okay. So now on tap, we click that and uh, you can see there's some weirdness. It brought this thing into this other artboard, this mobile nav here. Let's, let's go ahead and try to get these a little bit further apart. Principal kind of likes to do some of this stuff for you. Uh, like the artboard position management. So I'm going to have to nudge this over a little bit at a time. So it's not putting it onto the other artboard. Okay, so here we are, things have adjusted. Okay, we click this and now this now shows up just like that. But what it's not doing is it's not animating for us, right? We tapped on this, this itself is not animating. Now you might be wondering, hey, what's up with that? In the last video, all we had to do was say tap, we moved this from here to here and it animated for us. Well, if you'll notice, there's some weirdness going on here. In fact, so we have mobile nav open, mobile nav open two, but you'll notice this folder is named nav two and this one's named nav. Let's go ahead and modify that. I'm gonna keep on hitting enter by accident. Let's go ahead and come in here and rename this just by double selecting it and making it named nav. Now we'll notice something interesting when that happens. When we run our preview it slides in now, and that's super cool, right? I mean, sure, uh, this animation is, it's not great, whatever, but we imported this design from Sketch and it's now being animated. So you might be wondering, what was it here that prevented this from animating just now? And the answer is, is that 
the way principle works, is it's gonna be looking for layers of the same name in your navigation here. So it's gonna be looking, seeing in from this artboard to this artboard, is there another layer named nav? And if so, let me get the before and after position of it and let's animate that. But when this was named nav2, it wasn't seeing that as being the exact same thing as nav, even though visually it was the same thing. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you're having any sort of issues like that, that you have things named the same across artboards. Okay, so we've now successfully imported a design from Sketch directly into principle with like little to no effort. It was super easy, super cool. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you wanna have access to all of the principle files that we create through the course of this video, you can purchase this series outright from store.leveluptutorials.com or you can become a subscriber and become a Level Up Pro, get access to all of these videos before they're available on YouTube, get access to all of the principal files and get access to some exclusive videos where I describe how to make some really complex, excellent principal files. So as always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.